After receiving a few requests to take a look at the analytics and tracking in clear Linux OS, I had to think, challenge accepted. This is exactly the sort of thing I love. And I suppose it's the hill I've chosen to die on, really, isn't it? Trying to defend people of their right to privacy and eliminating tracking. So yeah, if I do disappear tomorrow, I think you'll know exactly what's happened. I've annoyed a few too many people, and the annoyance seemed to begin already with just a simple little tweet. Yeah, so I dread to think what the whole video is going to do. I will explain all this because it will look like I'm sensationalising all this, um, accusing certain things of being spyware, and actually it's nothing of the sort. Oh, let me get that out of the way right now. Clear Linux OS is not spyware. Not spyware, just in case that couldn't be emphasised anymore. The tracking they do is well documented, and it's not looking at everything you're doing. It seems to be more the... Uh, what errors are going on in the operating system. But on the other hand, this is kind of like the putting a frog in warm water approach to tracking. Let's take a look at something simple. Let's get you appreciating a small bit of tracking just for purposes of helping developers. Yes, of course. Who wouldn't want to help a developer understand any errors that's happening in their operating system? Yeah, sounds very admirable. And before you know it, uh, everything you do is being observed by the operating system. And that is actually much worse than being observed by individual websites. Because if there's tracking in individual websites, you do have the choice of whether or not to visit it. But if it's in the operating system, well, tough luck. You can see everything that's going on there with what you do offline, what you do on any website. Because no single tracker has an entire picture of all websites. Sure, Google and Facebook see a lot, but there are a lot of small other tracking companies, and not one of them has a clear picture of everything you do. Anyway, I kind of ranted a bit here. So, what is Clear Linux OS? It is a project supported by Intel and has been designed for optimization and performance, and additional security measures have been implemented in it. I have to say, the security measures are not entirely convinced about them, but uh, anyway, that's going to be a whole other subject. Yes, it is supported by Intel. And it seems that uh, people are using that as saying I'm an AMD fanboy or something. I don't know. I suppose you could start thinking that. No, <laughs> don't care. As I've said, it's tracking is the hill I've chosen to die on, not uh, making sure that there's a, an AMD system on every desk in the world. So yeah, it uh, uses the GNOME desktop, has a few applications in it, a few security features and honestly nothing special looking at it it's nothing special at all might as well use debian or ubuntu or fedora or red hat <laughs> other than ubuntu they all pretty much look the same so there's a few concepts about it and they're not hiding this fact of telemetrix anyway let's see where it all began last night with a tweet how far into the system install does Clear Linux get before contacting Intel's tracking service before you click the install button? Because I'm a bit limited on length of characters I can put in that tweet, let's bulk this out a little bit. So that is a DNS lookup, which is done very early on when the system has been run. It is a DNS lookup only. And that is it. As far as I can tell, there is no further communication with the IP addresses returned from the DNS lookup. You do get the option of turning analytics on or off, and the operating system seems to obey that. I think the default option was actually yes, contrary to what they say in the documentation, which is no for being default. But look, nothing is hidden there. This is during the system install. And if you're going to do analytics in the operating system, this is the way to do it. I'm showing this screenshot here now because it does say testing connectivity. Now this comes a bit crucial for later on in some explanation I was given of as to why that DNS lookup occurs. This is the options during the system install. I created two versions of Clear Linux in VirtualBox, one with the telemetry enabled and one with the telemetry disabled. Jason Avengelaho, writer at Forbes, requested that Asbir Palomero could shed any light on it, of which she did and stated, these DNS requests are made to determine if the user is in a local or restricted network, and they are made to configure the default telemetry choice. Note that DNS requests do not reach our telemetry service. They only reach your local DNS server. 
not exactly, but uh, yeah, the, a DNS request is made to Intel's DNS server because if I just go back, the actual website being requested is clr.telemetry.intel.com. Well, the root DNS server, well, the root DNS server will first contact .com and then the .com DNS server will contact Intel and then the Intel DNS server will give the results for telemetry and CLR. Doesn't necessarily tell the machine that made it, other than the fact a DNS lookup was made. Just wanted to give you the technical answer there on how DNS works. So thanks for the technical answer. Clear Linux's spyware witch hunt is already getting old. <laughs> Who stated it was spyware? <laughs> Not me. And, and the next post, how much would you bet that if AMD published a Linux distro and the same thing happened, no one would kick up a fuss? No, as I stated at the beginning, this is a hill I've chosen to die on. Tracking and privacy, nothing to do with who's better, Intel or AMD. You can fight that one out in the comments yourself, I don't care. Anyway, no data is collected from these DNS requests, the validation code, and we've been given a link to a blob of code on GitHub, which is, still doesn't really explain why it does it then, and then states it's gonna look up the connections later on, but okay, as I've said, this is not actually contacting the telemetry services, just uh, doing a DNS request. To be fair to Clear Linux, there is a lot of documentation here about how telemetry in the operating system works. So it says one of the key features of Clear Linux OS is telemetry, which is used to monitor system health. Telemetry enables developers to observe and proactively address issues before end users are impacted. So it's a combination of telemetry and analytics, yes. And it goes through some of the commands here on how to use it. If you want to capture your own records for analysis, you must set up your own backend server. There's a list of the actual programs. And then next steps to put this concept into practice refer to telemetrics. The telemetry functionality adheres to Intel's privacy policies regarding the collection and use of PII and is open source, personally identifiable information. And I notice they change a unique machine identifier every three days. There's enabling and disabling the telemetry. And as far as I can tell, this can only be done through the command line. So if you've enabled it at the time of install and then you want to disable it, this is how you would have to do it. sudo telemctl stop. Oh, and opting out. sudo telemctl opt out. There's an example of how to generate your own record and set a static machine ID. So yes, it does seem to be well documented. The source code is available on GitHub. There's various help guides. Information about the data being reported. And I'll show you an example of that in a moment. This is an example of the data I found on my system. It's not very much at all. They're really not gonna tell exactly what you're doing from that, but that's not my objection. My objection has always been this warm-up effect. Get people used to this now, what will become a tracking in the future. This is following the information on how to generate a record. So you've got the operating system, you've got the hardware identifiers. There's a unique event ID and just some information I put in there, just something. Although the journal file didn't update with that information. And I was confirming that telemetry is active. So yeah, this is on the system with the telemetry enabled. I still find it so weird that when you do have telemetry enabled, it's the first lookup that is made. Then subsequently it looks to see if there's a WPAD proxy file, and then it goes and looks at the NTP information. So if your clock was really badly out or you didn't have any sort of clock in your system, like on a Raspberry Pi, I believe that request would work correctly. If you don't have a sort of fairly close time on your system, the uh, packets wouldn't know what time they're being transmitted, and I think they would be dropped by an upstream switch. Anyway, on a different system, so that's this one, the dot one two seven. No such lookup is requested to the telemetry, so that's the one without. That's the one without the analytics enabled. Yeah. It just goes on to do a, an NTP lookup, or should, should have said network time protocol lookup to the NTP server. In terms of statistics of data, that is one of the IPs where tracking data is sent. It's not particularly many packets at all. That really doesn't represent a particularly large volume of data. In fact, I think a lot of it is actually a certificate exchange. So 
it, it's really not a lot and probably about representative of what is in the file that I showed in the picture. This is the system with telemetry installed and I have access to the Telem CTL application. And I have another clear Linux system here where you can quite clearly see the telemetry files do not exist. So that was a look at the tracking and analytics in Clear Linux OS. It is certainly not the worst I've seen. I have been honest about what they're doing. As always, I think, what will this lead to in the future? So it is something I would rather not see at all. I do not want tracking in an operating system simply because there is too much visibility of what the user is doing. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.